குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl. Hi students good morning to everyone this video session i would like to explain about morphology of a cockroach before that previously we discussed about type study of three organisms that mean Uh, in this chapter what type studies we want to want to discuss that i explained in the previous video in that uh, earthworm and then cockroach and then uh, frog earthworm cockroach these two belongs to invertebrate frog is a vertebrate so according to this academic year syllabus uh, the frog and then earthworm is deleted and then uh, cockroach still it is there so in the last video introduction about cockroach topic okay that what is the scientific name of cockroach what is the classification of cockroach these and all we seen this video morphology of periplaneta americana you know the scientific name of the cockroach is a periplaneta americana it is a one of the species several species are there in this uh, our 12th standard we discuss about a periplaneta americana type study let me start a morphology of periplaneta americana see nana morphology of periplaneta americana why they gave the name americana you know the significance they find it in the first time in the american north america so that's why then you know the meaning of morphology the definition of morphology by seeing by using of our our eyes what structure we can find it of appearance of the organism okay so external appearance of the organism we can say in the form of the morphology scientific terminology so brown and black color first they are saying first impression regarding the color some of the cockroaches brown and black okay if you see the introduction videos in that uh, several colors i said here we are discussing alone periplaneta americana so that's why periplaneta americana body color either brown color or maybe black color bodies and then first uh, these uh, periplaneta americana re- re- reported or noticed in the america place but later it is spread out the all over world especially tropical regions especially tropical region so reported in the different tropical regions and the size of the organism 1 by 4 inches to 3 inches 3 inches if you are converted into the that inches in the centimeters 1 by 4 0.6 centimeters to 7.6 meet centimeters not meters na na centimeters these and all either color and the size of the organism we can find out by the uh, by external appearance only na and then when you hold the cockroach with your hand what structures you will find primarily that and all a long antenna are there mesai okay just general terminology in the tamil it is a mesai so long antenna and then legs also visible and flat extension of the upper body wall that mean the body wall outer layer is there na it is extend to the total body okay the end of the organism extension something layer and then and then there's and all uh, conical head the 
head in the form of the conical shape ok. Now, this is the time to compare the previous organisms. Why mean uh, here uh, periplaneta americana belongs to arthropoda organism, arthropoda, arthropoda phylum, arthropoda ki munna de anilida is there. When you uh, general characteristics of uh, anilida study time, anybody heard it any head particular uh, developed head you seen anything? There is not a particular head region ok. Cephalization is started, but a particular distinct head portion is not at there. Okay. But in the Adropoda time, particular head region is a separate from the remaining body. Just when you see in our body, we can distinguish the head part and then remaining body part okay, by seeing itself. Like that, head part is visible, particular visible in this uh, cockroach. Okay. And then nocturnal and omnivorous. Nocturnal mean which organism more active in the night time, in the day time they are not much activeness, they are taking rest in the day time, night time they are doing their um, collecting of the food or um, getting the resources the tunnel in that night time ok. Omnivore, what type of food they are at, all type of food it will eat. So, that is why which of the organisms are at uh, all type of food, uh, those organisms we call as a omnivorous. Uh, I think so, these word we seen in the digestion and absorption chapter of the human being uh, in that uh, chapter, uh, omni human being also belongs to omnivorous, uh, non ways, uh, ways uh, different uh, all plant related, animal related organisms are eaten by the human being. So, such a way all type of organ, uh, all type of items, food items can edible by the organism. So, that is why these and all we call as a omnivorous. Nocturnal means uh, the movement of the organism ok. Whether you remember or not uh, oh, this is it will come in the next uh, 12th standard, but here a small explanation nocturnal time uh, uh, the organism will move in the night time the one place to another place, day time they are taking something rest ok, not came out from the dark places. Such a organisms are called as a nocturnal, best example owl is a best example ok and bat, the bat owl night time they are moving correct only na, then that is a import and then na, these are the pest, nothing but pest mean which is the which organism is damaged the some of the useful things, some of the useful things, human useful things, those things we call as a pest, pesticide, which, which kills the pest that we call as a pesticide. Cockroach is a pest, ok, because of uh, it spoil the our food item, ok. It move, uh, it located in our house in the dark places, uh, something corners, uh, the, um, which place is not light is not at available such a places it will be existed ok. And then uh, especially these uh, cockroaches are available at the place of the uh, oil places, which place we are keeping the oil bottles uh, those places it will be there because of the smell of the oil is uh, attracted to that pest I mean that uh, cockroaches and then these cockroaches are act as a vectors. What is a vector means uh, some of the disease causing agents are uh, spreaded by the one place to another place by the these organisms. So, that is why disease causing vector we consider as a disease causing vector. Sir. Then how mosquito is a plain important role is a vector along with the life cycles of the some of the pest uh, some of the parasites uh, like this is also vector act as a vector. And then exoskeleton when you see in that uh, any uh, that cockroach body the total body is uh, covered by the one uh, uh, cutaneous layer ok. That layer made up of the chitin one of the chemical substance uh, that chitin uh, this exoskeleton here uh, if you ask uh, our exoskeleton our body exoskeleton skin and hair is a exoskeleton. So, here uh, which is the which is the part is giving to the protection to the total body those things we call as a exoskeleton ok. That ex exoskeleton is uh, in the uh, made up of the chitinous. So, 
this is a one of the advanced nature the, these exoskeleton is not at present in the annelidans in the idiku munnadi phylums so these arthropoda animals are having the exoskeleton when you coming to the next one mollusca those also having the skeleton shell is there comparing with the chitinous membrane the shell is more ad, more uh, protection correct only no? so uh, like uh, some gradual evol uh, evolution is happened gradual development happened in the evolution okay then uh, next one uh, in each segment okay the total body in the form of the segmental matter segmentation of the organisms uh, that we called as a metamerism correct only na no? metamerism so segmentation of body that uh, we seen in the general characteristics of uh, criteria general criteria of the classification segmentation so, so, so see here uh, body is uh, segmented see for uh, your understanding wise there rough diagram i drawn here this is the head part this is the thoracic part thoracic means neck part later uh, next uh, this and all abdomen abdomen okay so here uh, these total head thorax thorax and then abdomen all are body is segmented that segmented has the plates okay each and every segment having the plate that plates we call as a sclerites what it is sclerites that sclerites individual sclerite names are differ which is the sclerite is a presence on the dorsal side of the organism that we call as a terga dorsal side and which is a sclerites are presence in the ventral side of the organism that is a sternum that is a sternum and then which is the sclerites are present in the lateral sides that we call as a flo flora okay just nothing but if you take a, uh, our building any one building we upper portion we call as a roof correct only na and lower portion i mean lower what um, what place we are walking that we call as a floor and then side lateral sides wall all are made up of the cement and bricks only not at a variation but uh, by conventional way we are saying the individual board roof floor and then wall like that uh, here a dorsal sclerite we call as a terga and ventral side we call as a sternum and lateral side lateral side plates we call as a flora okay so these are the things this sclerite cha that uh, uh, segmented plates okay then uh, the sclerites each and every sclerites articulate articulate means attaching with articulate with a permeable membrane that uh, permeable membrane is arthroidal membrane okay which are the words i kept in the inverted commas underline those words you should be remember now here sclerite scientific terminology okay and then uh, arthroidal membrane this arthroidal membrane arthroidal membrane is a semi permeable membrane it will play an important role articulation of the sclerites nothing but uh, if you are if, when we are um, adjust the plates tiles of the floor okay for attaching of this one for, um, in between of the tiles uh, we are using the keeping the something cement or floor a bottom of the plates uh, we are pa pasting the something cement okay some chemical items uh, that will be give the attachment of the all the plates uh, so that only here like uh, all the sclerites are articulate with each other with the help of the arthroidal membrane okay for your understand see uh, these and all this diagram rough diagram these uh, this part is a head part and then uh, below the head part uh, 1 2 3 these three chambers combinedly we call as a thorax what it is thorax and then remaining all the part we call as a abdomen just uh, see our test book the cockroach uh, label diagram you will find uh, in that uh, parts you should be remember okay by seeing itself these this is the we can consider we can find this is the head part that head part uh, both corners it has a compound eye once more time i will be tell in the next column here these are the compound i just nothing but uh, how the compound i mean na uh, e movie theriyum kada nanna in tamil uh, nani acted movie and that uh, e movie uh, housefly with uh, 
హౌస్ ఫ్లై ది దే డిడ్ మూవీ కదా ఆ హౌస్ ఫ్లై హౌ వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఐస్ ఆర్ దే ద సేమ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఐస్ ఆర్ ప్రజెన్స్ ఇన్ ద కాక్రోచ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ హౌస్ ఫ్లై అండ్ దెన్ కాక్రోచ్ బోత్ ఆర్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ఆదర్ ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ ఐలమ్ ఓన్లీ సో సచ్ ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఐస్ వీ కాల్ ఇస్ ఏ కాంపౌండ్ ఐ ఎట్ ద బిసైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద కాంపౌండ్ ఐ ఏ బిగ్ థ్రెడ్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ దట్ ఓన్లీ వీ కాల్ ఇస్ ఏ యాంటీనా ఇన్ జనరల్ టెర్మినాలజీ మేసై దట్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ సెడ్ ఇన్ ద టాప్ అండ్ దెన్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద లెగ్స్ త్రీ పెయిర్స్ ఆఫ్ లెగ్స్ హీ ఆర్ ద సిగ్నిఫికెన్సీ ఆఫ్ ద లెగ్స్ the legs are jointed due to the that reason only jointed legs containing organisms we call as arthropoda organisms arthro means joints and poda means legs so which organisms consisting with the jointed legs those we call as arthropoda organisms so how many pairs of legs are there three pairs of walking legs are there that to remember nana these three pairs of uh, walking legs are located at the place of the thorax place at the place of the thorax thorax is made up of the how many chambers uh, three chambers 1 2 3 three chambers combinedly we call as a thorax okay one more time i will be repeat in the next continuation so three chambers combinedly we call as a thorax the first chamber having the one pair of legs and then second uh, thorax having the second pair of uh, second pair of legs and then third place third uh, thoracic chamber have containing with the third pair of walking legs okay so totally six legs are three pairs of legs are there after that when you come to the down part that part totally we call as a abdomen that abdomen is made up of uh, consisting with the uh, 10 segments 10 segments each and every segment is a uh, covered by sclerites that is sclerites uh, dorsal sclerite name terga ventral sclerite name sternum and lateral sclerite name pleura that mean uh, this is the one vision kadana na one side vision if you take this side is a dorsal side uh, opposite side is there na at uh, that side that side tergas are there sorry that side sternum are there these are the tergas uh, that side opposite side uh, sternum uh, and then lateral sides lateral sides we call as a pleura sir which one these uh, sclerites sclerites okay all the sclerites are attaching with the uh, adroidal membrane now this is the time to uh, details about uh, thorax thorax having the how many chambers na uh, three chambers that three chambers uh, individually we called as a prothorax and mesothorax and metathorax easy to remember Thora- thoracic ward thorax ward is easy to remember before thorax why they kept the pro means uh, pro means uh, initial or first so first thoracic chamber so that's why we kept the name as a prothorax meso means a letter letter nothing but a ectoderm mesoderm endoderm ectoderm first outer layer meso means second only na so meso means indicates second so mesothorax second and meta meta indicates later or last so last thoracic chamber this one metathorax so this is a general appearance of the cockroach we can find by our naked eye okay then come to the point come to the details about a head here the total body is distinguished into the three parts kada na head thorax abdomen so detailed analysis of each and every part now come to the head part in the second column in the second column i would like to explain about a head region head is a very small is there distinct head is there but it is a very small and then the shape of the head uh, triangular triangular our head is a oval in shape or uh, circle but here triangular form here uh, these cockroach head we called as a hypognathus head in the our ncert uh, they didn't highlighted these word but this word is a very significant word in the examination point of view sometimes it is a neat point of view here my question mark is uh, why cockroach head we called as a hypognathus head a particular reason is there the reason is that head triangular head hanging the almost right angle to the body right angle to the body see nana here in this view this is a head part this is the thoracic part this is the abdominal part correct only na it is upper portion onwards we are seeing okay if you see the organism in the lateral onwards see the lateral side the appearance like this 
so this is the head part this is the thoracic part then uh, this is the abdominal part correct only na three uh, thoracic chambers and then uh, ten abdominal this is the head so if you see that uh, these organ organism and uh, organs arrangement thoras thorax and then abdomen both are present in the one axis okay x axis and then head is located in the which direction y axis direction so head almost right angle right angle means the angle between the thoracic thorax and then head 90 degrees are there so which is the uh, head when the head is uh, hanging in the right angle to the total body such a type of head we call as a hypognathous head hypognathous head so the total body is a one plane and head alone one plane that type of head condition we call as a hypognathous head remember this one maybe uh, two marks definition based questions why cockroach head we call as a hypognathous head uh, due to the which reason such a type of questions and then the head of the cockroach fusing of the formed by the fusion of the six embryonic segments by seeing head totally it is a very small triangular maybe we thought it it is a only one single chamber okay because a cockroach is a adult organism but when the cockroach is a embryonic condition head containing with eight segments sorry six segments all six segments are fusion to each other to form the capsule capsule so that capsules we called as a head head capsule simply we in the general terminology we call as a head capsule so head of the cockroach is formed by the fusion of the six embryonic segments head capsule bears the a pair of compound eye in the head capsule what it is having what it is having it is having with it's containing with the compound eye one comp, one pair of compound eye is there and then a pair of uh, thread like antennas are there already i said in that this diagram this diagramation time i said na so compound eye and then uh, a pair of thread like antennas uh, these antennas are sensory in response when you are when we are all our childhood um, if we are have anything fear about uh, cockroach i can't say like uh, but uh, some people are very eagerly play with the cockroaches so try to hold that uh, cockroaches with the uh, holding of uh, um, these uh, mesai antennas so when you touch that antenna automatically cockroach will be far away because, because of uh, these are sensory response okay how our uh, reflex arc work uh, like that uh, these antennas will be detect the smell and then any chemical compositions so due to that finding of that chemical substances automatically it will felt something threat is going on surrounding us i want to far away from the this situation so antennas are sensory receptors and then appendages appendages that appendages modified into the mouth parts the cockroach mouth parts we call as biting and chewing biting and chewing as like our our mouth parts also biting and chewing first uh, uh, we have to bite our chicken piece or anything okay of course maybe sometimes we are chewing before chewing we should be do the bite okay ever goa any fruit we are eating na that we want to bite after biting in the buccal cavity we are started to chewing okay mastication process is there in a digestion time that biting and chewing that type of mouth parts as like as okay that mouth parts what parts are there if you see in our our mouth parts we see in teeth tongue and then the salivary glands these and all we see in what type of teeth here cockroach is not much well developed like human being even though those and all having the something mouth parts that parts we want to know so here these mouth parts of cockroach having the two parts that one sorry several parts especially first one it is upper lip lower lip as like as upper lip lower lip but scientific terminology should be remember these word lab labrum labrum uh, is we call as a upper lip we call as a labrum and uh, labia labia similar to lower lip lower lip we call as in the scientific terminology labia 
lower lip okay don't confuse here upper lip we call as a labrum and lower lip we call as a labia along with that a pair of mandibles mandibles mean crushing how our teeth are crushing the food item for crushing white purpose mandibles are playing important role one pair of mandibles are there and then a pair of maxillae are there when they are cutting when they are eating anything the food item want to hold correct now if you want to eat something food mean the solid food should be used holding the with the help of our hand correct only now like here organism does not have any hand so for holding of the food item at the time of the crushing and cutting that time mandibles are playing important role mandibles and a median flexible lobe is there in the mouth that we call as a hypopharynx what it is hypopharynx that hypopharynx similar organ to tongue of the human being tongue of the human being so we discussed about in the head part head part basically it is a very small and the triangular and hypognathous head reason edanna head always hanging almost the right angle to the remaining body due to that we call the hypognathous the head of the cockroach is formed by the fusion of the six embryonic segments the six embryonic segments of fusion after it will form the head capsule head capsule what type of organs are its bearing mean a pair of compound eyes are there a pair of thread like antenna sir there there is a two or a compound eye antenna sir both are sensory that compound eyes are vision and then these and all sensory smell appendages are there that appendages are mo modified into the mouth parts that mouth parts we call as the biting and chewing mouth mouth parts that mouth parts consisting in the labrum and the labia labrum nothing but upper lip labia nothing but lower lip a pair of mandibles also is there mandibles using for the purpose is crushing or chewing purpose a pair of maxillaries maxillaries are holding purpose and then as like our tongue a small structure flexible structure we seen in the cockroach mouth parts that is a hypopharynx it is a similar to the tongue and then next come to the point thorax thorax this is the second part now these thorax i would like to continue in the next video but uh, the already here i said how many th chambers are there three chambers are there the three chambers uh, name uh, first thorax thorax name uh, prothorax and second chamber mesothorax and uh, last one third one that is a metathorax remember these are uh, three words in this video we discussed about uh, morphology of uh, periplinata still uh, morphology uh, is there we should be know about uh, in the thoracic uh, chambers morphology and then uh, these uh, abdominal places uh, nothing but uh, wings also is there wings uh, okay e uh, presenting of the wings also it is not a bird it is a insect okay uh, wings like structures are there but anatomically differ what is the significance of this and all uh, in the 11th 12th standard evolutionary time i will say okay why these uh, even though these and all flying we can cannot consider into the bird the particular reason is there we will know in the next uh, 12th standard the next video i would like to explain about the thorax thorax and then uh, abdominal segments up to that wait thank you